Hi everyone. I hope everyone are safe. Let's uh, manually update uh, the Windows Azure VM agent using PowerShell from our local station. So we will update the VM agent in a. So in the last in the previous video, I have actually uh, uh, spoke about what does a Windows Azure VM agent do and how does it man automatically gets updated. But one of the viewer have asked me a specific query again about how do we uh, proceed if you wanted to update a agent through PowerShell. So let's do it remotely. Uh, let's do the updation of the agent version remotely instead of uh, going uh, and running the PowerShell commands in that particular VM. So that is more actually a production for oriented uh, way of doing things. So before I jump into the script, you can always go into this public uh, Git repository and you can find my scripts. Where is it? So if you can actually go into this particular run commands in VM folder, you will actually find this run commands in VM01.ps1 script. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, you can always leave your feedback uh, in the comment section and you can always request for specific demos and I'll definitely come up with a video on it in one to two weeks. So what am I doing? Um, I am going and uh, uh, taking that particular resource group. What are the VMs which are there? I'm going to take that VMs and I'm writing a for each loop for each VM in the VM list. Uh, I'm going to run a invoke AZ VM run command. So I spoke about what does invoke AZ VM run command does. So it is a remote. Uh, it is a way of running the command uh, from our local station. We can run some PowerShell commands remain, which is hosted in Azure. So you can always refer to that video in the playlist. So I am calling for a specific script here and that is nothing but I'm uh, so here I gave the reference for what am I speaking. So this that link leads to this particular doc Microsoft document. So here uh, the manual installation of Windows VM agent comes for specific uh, situations which I have mentioned saying that when you are installing your custom VM image there are times where you would be needing to manually install your VM agent. So for that purpose so I also mentioned that you always have to ensure uh, the allowed operations should be true. Okay so under if you go under the particular uh, details of that particular VM that using this command get a hyphen get hyphen az vm command you are going to get the vm details and uh, when you actually go into that that particular vm os profile and you will be seeing allowed extensions operations so after uh, installing the vm agent uh, you have to make it true and you update the az vm that's one of the very important things to be noted so how do we install manually so I am actually going into this particular folder. So if you see uh, under the C users trainer downloads, this is gonna download that particular MSI file. So that this this URL I got it from the same uh, Microsoft doc. If you see here, they have given me the link to manually install Win Windows VM agent. So you copy the link address and you paste it here and I just uh, so using the invoke hyphen web request command we are gonna download that uh, file and I just made an uh, using your I asked to output the file with the name of vmagent.msi. Now I took that entire file name and uh, here I'm, uh, I'm just passing the parameters for running this msi.exe uh, uh, to install this particular msi file but uh, it is always a good practice to start it this way because when you are running this uh, we will be not sure whether uh, it is running in behind or not so yeah, the script just goes on executing the next command so here i am saying that to start the process and wait till this process is completed so this wait command is used for that and uh, here are the arguments for it. So I am saying that to generate a log file for whatever uh, the installation whatever happened you will get a, get a log file along with the uh, VM agent MSI. Okay. So after that we will actually see the VM uh, 
uh, object which is uh, get vmi object so this will say whether the current software has been installed or not so let's do it manually for the sake of understanding so already the vm agent is already so let me remove it so before i remove it uh, so if you see when i'm running the get hyphen vma object in 32 product i am getting what is the windows vm agent which has been installed in this vm machine now when i uninstall it i would not be getting because the vm agent is not been installed in this machine so now i will run this script and uh, i will get this output which says that it has been installed in the machine so let me run it you should have login into the subscription and here so i'll be having the list of vms under the resource group of window hyphen vm now let me run the invoke hyphen az vm run command and i'll be calling this script and which will run this entire script will be running mainly in the this machine now if you see under the downloads there is no vmi agent so let's check the time where i am running the script now if you see it is 326 so this is a utc time So I am running the for loop. Here I am actually invoking the command, and uh, here it goes. And first, it will install the download that particular file, vmagent.msi file. Now, if you see, the vmagent.msi file has been downloaded into the downloads folder, and a log is being generated. Now you see the timings. It is just downloaded at the 30 seconds back. So the log file has been generated. Now you see this is the log file. The VMA has been installed. The VM agent has been installed in this uh, VM, and we should be getting that output here. So you got it. The output. So if you see the time took to actually run the script is three minutes. Uh, so you can use even the jobs to run it as a job so that it can run mul on multiple VMs. This is how you can manually install the Azure VM agent through PowerShell. I hope this helps. Thank you.